you have been using your car for quite some time now so you might be tired of it or you just want to get rid of it or upgrade so the big question is how do you get to sell your car in kenya for those who are new my name is jojo and welcome to yet another car episode and if you're new and you have not subscribed kindly hit the red subscribe button below and join the family would love to have you here so there are many ways you can sell your car in kenya and the first and the most easiest way is online so there are so many online platforms where you can post your car for instance we have gg so the only thing you need to do is get good photos of the car that you're selling and you fill in the details so like the make the year the price and everything you just fill it and um there's an option where you can pay for the ad so that it is visible to more people but if you don't want to spend any cash you can just do a simple ad and you will get inquiries from interested buyers there is also an, another online car website that is called checky but checky recently rebranded to auto check and uh, also here you get to do the same thing you post your car the details of your car how much you're selling it for and uh, this is a, a website that is mostly used by the guys from the yard and for them they usually pay like a subscription fee so it depends with how much you're spending so based on how much you're paying the subscription that you've taken you get to be sent leads by the website so that is also another good option but if you don't want to spend any cash you can just do a simple ad and you'll also be able to get a few inquiries from potential buyers another best place that you can sell your car is a facebook marketplace facebook has a lot of car groups so if you're looking maybe to purchase like a mercedes-benz there are so many groups on facebook where you can go check out the cars that are there and um, from there you're able to gauge the price of the particular model that you're looking for so most of the cars there are based on market price but they do have very good options and also there's a lot a lot of variety and uh, what i like most about facebook is you can just go and search when you just go to facebook you can search the car that you're looking for and you'll be able to get so many posts about that particular car and also here you can be able to filter how much you're willing to spend so that is a very good platform where you can get very 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 good cars another place is instagram instagram you can um, post you can use the decluttering pages i've seen some of the cars being sold on these decluttering pages some of them some of the pages that i have seen is um, there's one declutter by mabel and there's a uh, fine finds those are the two major um, decluttering pages that i've seen but if you know of any instagram page where one can sell their car kindly leave it in the comment section below let's get to share and know how we can be able to sell the cars on instagram and also before i forget tiktok is yet another good platform where you can be able to sell your car so you can just take like photos videos of the car and you put the description of the car in your poster and you'll get inquiries from potential buyers one thing i like about the online platform is it is very easy you don't need anything you just need your phone and bundles that's it and um you get to post the photos or um even videos of the car that you're selling you get to input everything the details of the car and you just sit and wait for the potential buyers to make their inquiries and if you're paying most of the platforms they do not charge a lot because i've seen gg you can even advertise with 500 bob and uh, for the decluttering pages on um, instagram it is around for 50 400 for fines and fines for 50 and then mabel charges 650 and also for facebook facebook is free so you don't get to spend a lot of money on that but the cons when it comes to online 
is your you become a target to fraudsters so be very wary when you're meeting the potential buyers for your car if you found them online so make sure you meet them in, the, in a public place or you can even go with your friend just make sure that you do your due diligence before you get to meet any of the buyers that you found online another platform that you can use that is online is whatsapp status and groups so if you're selling cars because i see this with most of the car brokers they do post the cars on their whatsapp status and if you have like a group with potential car buyers you can even post the photos there and this is um, a trustworthy platform because you get to see that most of the people that you're sharing the photos with are your friends and family so they can be able even to refer you to someone that they know that is looking for a car so this is also a very good place where you can get a serious buyer another way that you can sell your car is through brokers in kenya you cannot eliminate car brokers brokers are everywhere if you're going to sell your car if you're going to even buy it from the yards from even car bazaar they are everywhere so brokers are very 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 good avenues for you to sell your car the thing with brokers is you get to sell maybe like one broker and since he has friends who are also brokers he gets to send the images to his friends who are brokers so your car is distributed to many people and they are able to share it with as many people as possible so potential buyers are easily found through brokers and the thing with brokers is they get to do all the hard work for you they get to look for the buyer when they get the buyer they negotiate the price for you because you do have an arrangement because for instance you're selling your car and your car is being sold maybe like 300 kenyan shillings 300,000 sorry 300,000 kenyan shillings so you tell the broker that uh, what me i'm taking home is 300 so anything above 300 is yours so they can even sell the car at 390 350 it depends with the make and the condition of the car so whatever is on top is what the broker takes home and um that is a good way because you get to they get to challenge themselves and they get to set the price that they are willing to pay themselves another way that you can do it is they sell your car and then you get to give them a commission but i prefer the former one because you don't go back to your pocket because you know the cash that is being paid to you by the buyer is yours and then whatever is on top is the brokers because this other one where you get to pay them a commission it means that whatever they maybe if they sell the car to you at 300 kenyan shillings 300,000 sorry 300,000 it means that if they are taking a commission of maybe like 10 percent you will have to you will have to go now back to your pocket and then give them the 10 percent from there another good avenue where you can sell your car is the yards there are so many car yards in kenya so many so many we have i think the but i stand to be corrected between Ngong Road and Kiambu Road, I think those are the places with the most yards. But I think Kiambu Road takes it all. Hey, because the yards on Kiambu Road are many. So you can be able to leave, go take your car to the yard and leave it there. And um, they're going to sell it for you when the car is at the yard. The only downside to this is if you do not have another car, you will be inconvenienced because you will not be having another car to use because they don't give you another car to use by the time your car is going so you just go leave your car there and then they will sell it for you from there so you go agree on how much they are going to sell it for and then you also agree on how much they are going to, their cut is so they can also do the same way as brokers you agree they are giving you three hundred thousand and then whatever is on top is what they take home but uh, i've seen that most of the yards most but not all the ones that i have dealt with they usually take like around 50k so that is usually their cut so whatever 
price your car is, you add around 50,000. But this is not all. But I'm talking about the yards that I have dealt with. So the advantage of uh, using a yard is uh, the cost of, of advertising lies solely on them. So they are in charge of um, distributing the photos of the car to potential buyers. They're the ones who are in charge of now doing the marketing. And also if they get a potential buyer, they get to negotiate with the buyer. And uh, all you got to do is you come, do your transfer and uh, hand over the car documents. That is a very easy way if you don't want the stress of now looking for the buyers, negotiating with them, and now taking the car for the potential buyers to see, because that is a lot of resources that is usually spent there. But be wary about car yards. If you're going to leave your car at the yard, make sure you take your personal belongings from the car. Make sure the car is clean, clean. Because uh, I did have an experience with um, one yard. There's a yard I went, there was a potential buyer for a car I was selling. So I took the car, left at the yard. My goodness. So the thing was, the potential buyer wanted to see the car. It was on a weekend, it was on a Saturday. He wanted to come see the car, but I was not around. So the only option was, I go, leave it at the yard. So that he can be able to come and uh, view it from the yard. So I went to pick it on Monday. Yes, I went to pick it on Monday because the client was supposed to come either on Saturday, on Sunday during the day or Monday morning. But um, he came Monday morning, so I went to pick the car in the evening, Monday evening. And when I went to pick the car, but one thing that I noticed is my coin pass was not there. So I prefer if maybe I'm going to the petrol station and um, maybe I want to have my tires checked, at least I tip the person who has given me that service. Or maybe even parking, if you're looking for parking, at least Ilya Kwachia, soldier. So I usually have coins specifically for that, coins and notes for that. So I don't know, I forgot about it because it's not, it was not something that was on my mind. So when I went back to pick the car, that, that coin pass was not there. And then the other thing was the car charging modem. That one was not there, but I didn't notice immediately because I don't charge my phone in the car most of the times. So that one was not something that I immediately noticed that it was missing. And then the other thing was my fuel. Oh my goodness. And this economy, yani, mafuta imepanda, but oh my goodness. Because um, the tank was up, uh, below half. When I, Sorry about that, my battery died, so I had to get a new battery. But what I was saying is, when I went back to get the car, the fuel gauge, it was at E. I was shocked so i even called the guy from the yard the guy that i had left the car with and i asked him what happened to the fuel because i know the potential buyer was coming to view the car at the yard so there's no way you're, you're taking the car so the guy said oh you know on sunday we went to jamuri car bazaar we went to show the car there and that is where the fuel. oh my goodness because i'm thinking it was all the way because the yard was um, on Kiambu Road. So you're coming all the way to Ngong Road. And the, mind you, the guy didn't even ask me if it's okay for him to go take the car at the yard, at the bazaar. So one thing I'm sure is the car was not taken to the bazaar. So I'm sure he was just running his errands with the vehicle. And then now when uh, he didn't have more fuel, so he returned the car to the yard. But uh, that is one downside. So the guys from the yard might, might, not all of them. So some might misuse your car and um, use it to now run their own errands. But this is not for every yard. But that is a lesson that I learned painfully because with this economy, 
Eish, that was a lot of fuel that um, the guy used. And uh, in my head, I had not budgeted for fuel at that particular point because I knew, see, I left the car with a lot of fuel. So if I'm going to pick it, I'll have fuel. But anyway, that's that. That is, uh, it comes with the territory. So if you're selling a car, so these are some of the things that you will, be, you will encounter. But not all yards. A pro tip is if you're leaving your car at the yard, make sure you have cleared everything. You do not have any personal belongings in the car. And also for fuel, make sure you, the car doesn't have a lot of fuel. But at least you need uh, some fuel. So any potential buyer who's coming to check the car, at least they can be able to start the car. So for fuel, you need fuel. But not a lot. But uh, the advantage of uh, using the yard avenue is most people who are looking to buy a car, the first, most of them, the first stop they go to is the yards. So at least you're sure your car is going to be visible to hundreds of potential buyers. So with that, that is a good avenue because at least you're assured if a potential buyer walks into that particular yard, and they like your car, definitely you'll be able to sell it faster. The next avenue is a Jamburi Car Bazaar, and this usually takes place every Sunday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Jamburi. So what you do is you just go take your car. So if you're selling your car, you pay only 500 shillings, and you get to display your car for the whole day. And if you're a potential buyer, you just pay 100 bob for parking. And the thing with Jamburi Car Bazaar, the earlier you go, the better. Because at least you get to ha take the parking slots that are near the entrance. And uh, you are sure that anyone who's coming to buy a car is going to spot you. Another good thing about Jamburi Car Bazaar is you get serious potential buyers. People travel as far as from Mombasa. We have even Eldoret. People come from far just to come in buy cars from the bazaar so at least you are assured that someone who's interested a serious buyer is going to spot you so if the pricing is right and the condition of the car is right definitely you will easily get a buyer and also the make of your car because i noticed bazaars are um, a good place if you're selling toyotas and nissans because those are the two models, major models that Kenyans do love. So Nissan, Toyotas, you will not go wrong with car bazaar. So another thing that I like about Jamburi Bazaar, car bazaar, is the potential buyer is going to inspect the car immediately. And uh, they are able to make the decision like on the spot. So if the car is, um, price in, is the right price and condition, you will sell your car quickly. Another avenue is the, the malls. So like Sarid, Prestige, Yaya, they usually have a notice board where you go pin now the details of um, your car, your photo and your contact details and you leave it there and potential buyers can be able now to make inquiries and come view the car. For this, is an easy way because a lot of people usually visit the malls. A lot of people like weekends, Weekends that people are usually in the malls. So you get visibility, your poster is visible to a lot of people. So you do have a lot of potential buyers who get to view now your adverts. And there's one avenue that I almost forgot. So before this online manenos, one way that people used to sell their car is through the for sale posters. So people used to drive their, their cars with the for sale posters. So you have the for sale sign and your phone number. But uh, nowadays, people are not so keen with that method. And uh, I feel like it makes you like a target for fraudsters. And another thing that I noticed is people are selling their car, but they don't want to sell their car publicly. Like they don't want to be driving around with a for sale sign so but uh, i have seen some cars being driven with the for sale sign so it is still an avenue where people are using to sell their cars and uh, I, I know a couple 
of people who have sold their cars in that way so it is not something that you can do completely do away with it is um, something that works and as long as you have a particular method that is working for you well go for it so i believe that you need to use all the avenues because there are so many ways of killing a rat you don't have to use like stick with one so i think using all the avenues is good at least you may be thinking maybe your car will go maybe you will send it through the yard or even the broker and you'll be surprised you put it on your whatsapp status and uh, funny enough there's someone who's someone there's someone who knows someone who's looking for a car so any avenue Wow. come to the end of today's episode i'd love to hear your thoughts if you have sold your car through any of the avenues that i have mentioned or if there's an avenue that i have forgotten about kindly let's engage in the comment section i'd love to know your thoughts and um, i'd love to know the avenues that have worked for you so if you've sold a car or you know anyone who has sold a car i'd gladly want to know which avenue worked for them. So I'll see you guys next week on Friday. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.